Jason Lance, head coach of the Atlantic City High School girls basketball team. Talk a little girls hoops here in the second hour of the South Jersey Sports Report. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Pretty good, man. Thanks for taking a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Uh, what's the state of your team here? Obviously, you, you guys are in first place in the Cal American, but you got some teams hot on your heels, uh, squads like Holy Spirit and Mainland. Uh, how are your girls holding up and under the pressure of uh, trying to win that conference? Uh, we're just trying to get better every day. Um, the competition is great this year. and uh, We just look forward to playing and giving our best every night. What what was the reaction of the girls uh, after that tough loss to Middle recently? Uh, a little bit of a wake up call for them. Uh, absolutely, and they came into practice the next day with just a, a great attitude. We had a great practice, um, you know. And the girls, uh, they all recommitted themselves to, uh, you know, holding themselves to a higher standard and working hard in practice. Yeah, because I know uh, you and I talked after that game. Uh, obviously, you guys started out the season with a 10-game winning streak. Uh, that loss mm-hmm. brought it to an end. And, uh, you know, you, you were saying, hey, maybe it's a good thing to get these girls kind of refocused. And that can happen at the high school level. You get on a nice, real w- big, long win streak to start the season. And, uh, you know, a team might start thinking they're, they can just show up and win. And, and that's not the case, obviously. <laughs> no, it's never the case. <laughs> um, you know, I tried to explain to the ladies that uh, – you know, when, you, when you're fortunate enough to win games like that, you're going to get everybody's best game. No matter what the team is, no matter who the players are, they're going to come to beat you. And, um, you know, it's a great position to be in because it, it gives you competition every night. And, uh, you know, unfortunately on that night we weren't prepared. Um, and but like I said, Middle Township played an excellent game. Um, and we lost. Yeah, they're they're definitely a tough team. How impressed were you with uh, Bridget Rusky? I mean, she's such a great athlete. You know, basketball is not oh, even, you know she it's one of her three sports. You know, she she's such a good athlete. Yeah, she's it, outstanding. She uh, I, the word I think of is outstanding. Uh, she's very aggressive. Um, she went north south. She got to the rim. She finished. She made foul shots. Um, she handled our pressure very well, um, and uh, I was impressed. Uh, you you also have some pretty good players yourself, uh, you know, Legere Wright, uh, Olivia Essex. Those two girls have really been uh, the key players for you. Talk about them a little bit and, and how much they've meant to this program over the last couple of years. Um, I've, I've, I've been very fortunate because I got a chance to watch both of them grow up from watching them play in elementary school. Um, I actually taught Olivia in fifth grade. Um, so, you know, I've just watched them over the years grow up and come up through the program, you know, we were lucky enough to get back from boys' games or watch the games, get a chance to watch them play. You know, now it's their time. Um, and, you know, I just want them to, to give everything they have so they have no regrets when, um, you know, their careers are over this year uh-huh. in terms of high school, that is. Right. Uh, another girl that, that I was really impressed with uh, when I saw that game against Middle was uh, Skylar Glass. I mean, here's a kid who's a real tough kid at the guard position. I mean, she, she mixes it up there with, with some of the taller girls and, and not afraid to, to really get after it on defense. And how much has she meant to your season? I mean, you, you, want, that, you want that toughness from the guard spot to, to kind of set the tone. Uh, Skylar plays with a lot of, uh, of passion and emotion. And uh... – you know, I'm just uh, I'm very proud of uh, uh, pretty much um, just the fact that um, you know she's finding a way to um, I can't think of the words to to really uh, express, but you know she's just finding a way. Uh, talk talk about this point in the season now. I mean, you're you're coming up at the end of January, finishing up this weekend. You're getting into February. Uh, how do you get the girls refocused into kind of a almost a second season here as you get going into February? You know the the postseason tournaments are going to be coming up in a few weeks, and and you kind of have to almost view it as two different seasons. You know, you got your first ten twelve games in, and and now it's now it's okay. Now it's now it's real uh, real game time. We got to get things together and and be on the right page with everything as we get into uh, middle of February. Um. I, I really um, I, I like our schedule. Um, we have some, some good games coming up. Um, we have four this week, and then um, we have Holy Spirit on Thursday. 
They have um, uh, playing in the mainland tournament next weekend. Um, you know, I just I, I look forward to um, you know playing and competing and getting better. Uh, in terms of the second half of the season, you know, I I'm just very proud that my girls have recommitted themselves. Uh, our practices have been great. You know, the energy has been high. Um, you know, never was really an issue with attitudes, but, you know, just the attitude is they want to play and they want to, you know, prove that, you know, we're, we're a solid basketball team. I look forward to being a part of it. How important is that at a high school when, when the boys' team is just as good as the girls' team? I, you know, I see that from time to time. You see that at schools like uh, Middle and Mainland, you know, throughout the years where these teams, they kind of feed off each other and, and trying to outdo each other on a nightly basis. Any of that go on in Atlantic City? I mean, they, they've got to feed off that boys' team a little bit and, and how good they've been playing. Well, uh, you know, my, my, my girls are very competitive. And uh, I, I laugh to myself because obviously yeah, I've, my um, history with the boys program is, you know, it's been a long time. Um, so my girls, you know, just just simple things like, you know, practice after practice with the boys or after us. You know, they'll say, well, you know, why are you hanging out with the boys? I said, well, why would not? You know, they're like, no, you were fuss. You know, I'm like, no, I'm definitely with you. you know? So uh, it's it's a good atmosphere. My my girls are competitive. You know, they, they want to uh, obviously – uh, our boys program has been outstanding over the last several years. And, um, you know, my girls, they want to be a part of that and they want to make their own history, and make their own name and, you know, earn recognition. And, and, you know, I appreciate that about them. Talking with coach Jason Lance of the Atlantic city girls basketball team. Coach, you're, you're in your first year coaching the girls' team. What's the biggest difference going from the boys' side to the girls' side when you're talking about high school athletes? Uh, it's, to me, it's not too much of a difference. Um, you know, I, I approach all all basketball as, as basketball players. Um, you know, the game is not so much above the rim, so so that's a difference. Um, and uh, you know. I think we play at a good speed. Um, you know, I've I've gotten a chance to to watch and see a lot of young ladies in the area, and you know, there's some great players out there. Um, you know, and I, I'm just enjoying it. Um, in terms of the difference, though, beyond above the rim, uh, these young ladies out here they are competitive. They want to win, and you know, I just love the fact that you know, every team we've played. I've seen players that uh, you know I you know come to admire. Coach, coach uh, just in terms of the atmosphere of a girls' team as opposed to a boys' team, uh, how difficult is that to coach the girls when you're talking about you know a dozen teenage girls? There's there's a lot going on in their lives, obviously off the court. Uh, how do you handle those types of personalities as opposed to boys? I mean, it can be such a different thing. Uh, they're they're a lot more emotional sometimes. And, uh, you know, things that happen outside of school might affect their performance on the court. How do you keep all that together? And, uh, you know, it, it, it tends to be a long season where you're, you're with these girls on a daily basis and, and you see the, the ups and downs. And how much different is that on the girls' side than, it, than maybe it is on the boys' side? <laughs> uh, that's not much of a difference either. Uh, you know, boys, uh, obviously, they have social lives too. Um, but I, I'm blessed to have a, a tremendous staff. Um, you know, uh, my assistant coaches, um, Coach Burroughs and Coach Bean, um, I have so many people who have volunteered and given their time. And, uh, you know, I, you know, I have uh, one of the players, my mom's, uh, Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Missy. You know, I have Coach Nadira. I have Tasha Cannon comes back. I have Coach May that comes back. Um, I have one of the players' fathers that volunteers time, uh, Coach Davis. He, you know, it's just it's beautiful to see how the community is uh, supporting our team. And every time um, you know, I run into someone, they, they compliment on how proud they are of the girls and the way they handle themselves. And, you know, my girls are out here in the community. They do a lot of community service. Um, you know, it's just it's great to see how everybody's supporting my ladies. 
Now, you mentioned Coach Bean. He's the uh, the head baseball coach over at Atlantic City. Does he know anything about basketball? Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> or, or is he just kind of winging it over there? You know, uh, he, he, he might be as fiery as Coach Allen sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it was kind of funny. I was talking to uh, Coach Kern from Mainland, and uh, uh-huh. he, he was mentioned. You know, he's the uh, head baseball coach over there at Mainland, and he was mentioning right, how right. the season opener was going to be uh, him versus Coach Bean at, at JV Girls Basketball. So uh-huh. a, little, a little bit different than varsity <laughs> baseball. <laughs> yes, indeed. But, uh, you know, it's just a joy to work with all everybody. Um, you know, everybody's in it for the girls. And, you know, you can't beat that. And you, you mentioned Marvin Burroughs, obviously a great athlete, great football player. What's it like uh, having him on staff? Uh, it's outstanding. Um, it, we, you know, it's funny. We were talking the other day just about how, how we click and how we think alike. Um, you know, I turn around. I'm like, sub, such, and I turn around. They're already walking in the game. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, you know, it's a great, it, it's a great relationship. Um, you know, he, he, he knows his stuff very patient you know um I, you know i might say something one way he might say it a different way but the message is getting through to the girls that you know it's all about them it's all about them succeeding it's all about them um doing well in school moving on to college uh giving back to community uh, playing for each other you know and we just pump that message over and over again you know that um you know it's just it's so much more than basketball but Basketball gives you so many opportunities to do things, and uh, you know we're all enjoying the ride, and we're trying to make it a long ride and then go as far as we can go. Good stuff, Coach. I appreciate you hopping on board, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thanks. I appreciate you. All right, that was Coach Jason Lance from the Atlantic City Girls Basketball Team. They're in first place in the Cal American.